Okay, in this video we're going to be painting another figure from uh, Malik's 3D design. And you might have guessed it, to celebrate Deadpool, we're going to be printing this awesome Deadpool statue. Uh, he just does a fantastic job. Um, love this stuff. So I haven't been doing figures, and I just started getting into it with Thanos. So yeah, this is what we're going to be printing today. Uh, if you're looking to get any figures, just head over to his site. Uh, this isn't a paid endorsement or anything. I'm just digging these uh, figures. Tons of different figures here. Uh, next one up that we're going to be doing on the channel is going to be, if I can find it, Black Panther. We're going to be doing this one because my son really wants this for his room, and that's going to be the next one. But today, we're going to be doing Deadpool. All right, so here we go. Another figure. Now, I already gave Deadpool a base. It's very glossy, so we'll definitely be knocking this all back with a um, matte clear coat. So now I'm going to go ahead and doing the fun job of taping. Now, yeah, sometimes I go ahead and use the brush. Sometimes I like to tape and, and spray paint, especially if it's a big area. So for here, yeah, we're going to just tape that up and use my patent pending uh, plastic bag method. Uh, so of course, you know, if anyone wants to use this, you've got to, uh, well, do nothing because I'm kidding. Obviously, it's not patent pending. But um, <laughs> Not fun. My son would say, not funny, Dad. And uh, there we go. So that was all set. We went and painted it out back. Again, there is no we. There is just I. I am trying to break myself of the habit of saying we. I do not know why I do it. Now we're using a nice little brush here. These are just cheapy little brushes. Uh, everything that I use colors-wise and whatnot will be over at 3dprintedpropsecure.com. And now we're just going to go ahead and add the black details. Now, this isn't, you know, exactly like the movie one or like the comic one. It's pretty darn close, obviously. But there's some things that are a little bit different here and there. And, again, I like that because, again, I read comics. So the characters' costumes are the same usually, but there's always a little things that are a little different. So I'm just going to go through here and give everything all the little details and do my, the best I can. Again, this isn't going to be like brand new looking. It's uh, There's going to be little paint marks and things. And, and that's the fun part about it. Now I'm going through and using another red color that I mixed up. Because that's from the spray can. To catch all the little mistakes I made. And here we go. Nice eye. Get in there close and blur the camera. <laughs> but boy, that was a tight one. Uh, that's a tiny, tiny brush with a little bit of white on it. And oh, I thought I was going to ruin that one, but looking pretty sharp. Hi, I'm Deadpool. So there we go. We've got him mostly painted up. There's a few little mistakes I need to clean up, which is funny because this is what we're going to do to him next. Why did I bother doing all that cleanup when I'm just going to brown it up, when I'm going to put on a whole bunch of black paint and brown paint to make him look dirty? Because that's what Deadpool does. He looks all gritty and stuff. Now, you know what you're saying? Wow, that is one silver gun. <laughs> It won't be when I'm done with it. I'm going to obviously uh, weather it. And so when you're doing this, you really want to find that mixture of water to paint so you can get some grime on there. And then you're going to go back almost with like a dry brush or even like I'm using here a paper towel and getting a little bit of paint on it and just sort of dabbing it around. And again, you want to make this look, you know, uh, not like a pattern or not like you uh, you put it there you want it to make it look like he got it from moving around so where are you going to find things you're going to find dirt in the seams you're going to find dirt by his shoes uh, it's going to be darker maybe up by his arms and stuff his chest you're going to look for where you think it's dirt going to be should be dirty because uh, dirt would collect their creases in the costume uh, all the little sort of textured parts since it's a texture it probably picks up some more dirt so there we go and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, I love when you can just make a character look dirty like this. Um, a lot different than Thanos. Okay, now uh, I went ahead and I had painted the um, blanket purple because I think it's like a royal color. And we're going to have some coffee. And what I used for the glove was that uh, Rust-Oleum hammered metal look. So it's got this neat hammered metal look. Now looking at it, I'm not happy with the base. Uh, it's too gray with the silver, so I'm going to go ahead and repaint that. 
And, you know, if you look at these blankets, there's really three there. There's this one, I think, there's this one on top here, this thin one. There's the one you can see in the bottom left-hand corner that has a different texture to it, so it's definitely a different one. So I painted that like a purple color, a dark purple. And I made this one kind of like a bluish purple to sort of contrast with his uh, red suit. Now, here we go. Like I said, patent pendant method. Use the bag to paint that like a satin black. And now I'm using rub and buff. And this is really awesome stuff. It coats like nobody business. You need tiny, tiny bits of it. So what I did was I just put a little bit on a paper towel. I mean, literally a little bit. And I'm just brushing it over the corners and edges to make it look like those are sort of, they're worn. And I'm putting a little bit here and there on uh, the bricks themselves. This stuff goes a long way. So just, you know, you do not need a lot. And I just like how those look worn. They look scuffed up. They look a little shiny there. Um, and again, everything will be over at printed, uh, 3D printed props gear.com. Now, of course, we get to do some weathering here. And again, it's the same thing. Where is it going to be grimier? In the cracks and crevices. And this glove was really fun. I literally just painted this thing black. Different, uh, you know, more paint sometimes in water. Brushed a little bit off, put a little bit on. And really, really uh, went to town. Now, same thing like with the bricks. I've got a little bit of the rub and buff. And I'm using it to hit the corners and edges to make them sort of shine back up. And you can see how they're now like brighter on the edges and corners like it was worn a little bit. And that helps just sort of, again, you're adding contrast and contrast adds depth. And it looks really cool because it looks like this worn metal, like something is rubbing there so it's shinier. And of course, we've got to uh, make this uh, look dirty because uh, th this was a battle. And uh, there we go. I actually added a little bit of uh, orangey browns, some uh, burnt umber and things like that to look like rust. And there you have it. Super happy with this model. The pose is awesome. The, what he's sitting on, it is just so cool. I, I am... <laughs> I'm really excited about this one and uh, and to see the movie maybe this weekend. I'm not sure. So you can see how that looks like rust right there. Again, the, those guys over at the site there, Malik's 3D design, knocked it out of the park again. Fantastic. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And of course, hit the little bell to know when a new video comes out. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And that's all under 3D Printed Props. And of course, go over to Patreon if you're looking for any of the 3D models I make. And also sort of behind the scene things and uh, little things that I'm working on when uh, I'm doing something that I don't have time to put the whole video up, I'm doing little shorts over there. And of course, uh, any of the files that you might be looking for. Some of the files coming up are going to be uh, Russ Lord's belt buckle, the uh, sawtooth axe, things like that. So head over there. It's a buck. Uh, it helps the channel out and uh, really appreciate it. So take it easy, guys. Uh, remember to go to 3dprinterpropsgear.com for all the stuff used in the build and have a great day. Thank you.